All right, so you've been thinking about getting your first pet reptile, and now you have to figure out where to get it. Before you head off to your closest pet store, you need to watch this video. Hey guys, it's Erin, and on this channel, we dig into reptile education for better care and conservation. Joining me this week is Rosie. She was part of last week's video, so you can click the link on your screen to head to that if you want to learn more about Rosie. But today, we're not talking about Rosie. We're going to be talking about where to get your first pet reptile because you have options, my friend. You may be ready to head out to your closest chain pet store, but I have some recommendations for you. Now, before we dive into that, I want you to do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week on reptile education. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell so you can stay up to date with every video as they come out. All right, so the first choice and the most obvious choice, I think, when it comes to picking up your pet reptile is going straight to a breeder. It doesn't matter what type of reptile you're after, nine times out of 10, there is going to be a breeder that is either in your area or that is willing to ship to you. That's right. You can have your pet reptile shipped straight to your door. And before you come for me for saying that you should put your pet in the mail, uh, this is actually how they get to the pet stores anyway. It is very, very safe. You can hop on Google and you can Google breeders in your area. You could join groups that are specific to the species that you're interested in purchasing or interested in owning and ask for breeder recommendations. But what I will say is that regardless of the breeder that you choose or the type of animal that you have, you need to do research on that breeder to make sure that they are reputable. So do your research. Now, if you're having problems finding a breeder that is local to you, one of the best places that you can check is Morph Market. And Morph Market is <laughs> so addictive. It is so addictive to just get on there and browse. But it is a place that has a lot of different reptile breeders. You can look at different species. You can look at different morphs even, and even different locations. There are a lot of different ways that you can dig into Morph Market to connect with a breeder. And Rosie can personally attest to how many hours I spend a week just scrolling because, oh my goodness, there are some beautiful reptiles, reptiles that I will probably never own, but beautiful reptiles nonetheless. Now, another option is actual reptile shows or reptile expos. This is gonna give you access to a lot of different vendors all at once that you can purchase from. There are expos all the time, year round, and they can be... <laughs> they can be a little much. I find that they are uh, very packed, very crowded, very sweaty, but it is a, definitely a place that you can find a reptile for you to adapt. Now, if you're looking for something like a ball python, a corn snake, something pretty common, you're not gonna have any problem finding that at a reptile expo or a reptile show. I will say that I've seen that there are some troubles finding the less um, common species. I know that I've talked to different people in different groups who are looking for like specific types of geckos that they can't find. Now the other downside to a reptile expo is that unless you've done the work in advance, you may not be able to research the breeder that you're getting your reptile from. I always say that you should do research before you go to a reptile expo. Go into the expo knowing what you're looking. Don't go in there giving yourself permission to impulse buy a reptile. That's never a good idea. But if you know you're looking for something specific, you can look into the breeders that are going to be there and you can do your research. So maybe you don't wanna go with a breeder. Another incredible route for getting a reptile for your home is through a rescue or a shelter like mine. In fact, here's my shameless plug. If you are in South Central Pennsylvania area and you're looking to adopt a reptile or you're looking to surrender a reptile, you can head to my website. I'm gonna link to it on the screen right now to get all of the information about any potential available animals or uh, surrendering an animal. But there are other rescues out there aside from mine. If you're not local to me, there is definitely a reptile rescue near you or even an animal shelter that may have a reptile for you. You can look into those, see what kind of reptiles they have available. It might not be a specific morph that comes up available. For example, if you're looking for a ball python, you might not find those, you know, mystic potion ball pythons in a rescue, but there are going to be animals available 
available. There are always animals that are either available right now or will be available. So definitely check out rescues. This is a great way to give a reptile a chance to help them find that forever home that they so need. Now, another option is always something like Craigslist or other rehoming sites. There are a lot of reptiles that go up on Craigslist, at least in my area. The downside to this is that you're not going to know exactly what you're getting because you're only seeing a picture. And in most cases, people are going to want to meet you in a public location with this reptile. You might not always get the full picture. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I can tell you that as someone who does uh, rescue work and who has been working as a private rescue for a long time, a lot of the animals that I have gotten have come straight from Craigslist and they have gone through rehabilitation and they have been some of the best pets I've ever had. Such rewarding animals. I did a video a couple of weeks ago about my bearded dragon Bumble. I'm going to link to that on your screen right now. And she is a Craigslist rescue that I absolutely love. But Craigslist is a great place if you are open to rescuing an animal or taking in an animal that might have a questionable past. And on the other hand, there are also people on there who genuinely just have had life circumstance changes and they need to rehome and they're well cared for. You just have to be willing to be open <laughs> to what's coming your way and also, again, do the research, be educated, be ready to take on any challenges that may arise from a Craigslist pet. There's nothing wrong with Craigslist or rehoming sites. There's nothing wrong with those animals. And I always recommend rescuing over buying when you can. And then finally, this is the last one on the list. And I think it's important that it's the last one because there's a lot of context here. Another option is an ethical pet store. Now, I am not talking about a chain pet store. In fact, I am adamantly opposed to buying animals from chain pet stores. And if that's something you wanna talk about or you wanna know why, I want you to do me a favor and leave me a comment below. I would love to do a video about why chain pet stores are really not great places for you to get your pet reptiles or pet anything, really. That said, there are some small ethical pet stores. We have some pet stores in my area that are small businesses. They're owned by local residents. They're not like franchises or anything like that. And they source their reptiles and their animals from ethical breeders. They're also implementing a lot of best care practices and they're making sure that their staff is well educated, which is super important. So look into ethical pet stores that you can see are practicing proper care and if you've done your research, which you should have done your research before you're even out looking for a reptile, then you'll be able to see right away whether or not they're actually doing the right thing for those reptiles. So as you can see, you have a lot of options. You have so many options when it comes to where to get your pet reptile. Now, when you get there to pick up your pet, you're going to probably have some options. You're going to have the option of a baby reptile or an adult reptile. Do you know which one is right for you? If you don't, you're going to want to click the video on your screen right now where we talk about whether or not you should adopt a baby reptile or an adult reptile. All right, my friend, I will see you in that video. Bye.